everyone and welcome to another youtube video in today's video we are going to be talking about the box plot and the whiskers so basically this data vish tool is actually a bit different from the likes of the bar charts the pie charts the histogram and all of that in the sense that let's take for example the bar charts the pie charts the histogram only focus on how the variables uh in our data set actually interact with each other you know the highest bar or the largest sector represents the variable with the highest frequency or the larger uh size in code but this is not the way the box plot actually uh work the box plot works in a way such that it actually divides the data into specific uh parts equal part and then use this parts to actually tell a story about our data set so basically a box plot actually consists of box and whiskers so inside this box we have our three lines which represent something and uh, at the end of this box we have uh, a line like an extension which we call the whiskers so that means in total we have our uh, five lines that are actually attached to the box plot and whiskers and that now leads us to what we call the five summary number so basically the five summary numbers are these numbers that we use to construct a box plot and they are the details that we get from our data set the five summary numbers are we have the minimum value uh, we have the first quarter we have the median we have the third quarter and we have uh, the maximum value so in the box we actually have three lines like i said earlier on uh, the first line in the box towards the left actually represents the first quarter uh, the second line in the box actually represents the median and the third line outside the box actually represents the third quarter so the first line of whiskers that we are going to be meeting actually represents the minimum value and the last line uh, of the whiskers actually represents the maximum value the box plot is very important because it has some distinct properties attached to it one of them being the fact that a box plot can be actually used to detect and extract outliers from our data set another distinct property of the box plot is based on the fact that a box plot can help us to whether we have a left skewed data set a right skewed data set or we have a symmetrical uh, data set the first quarter is actually the first and five percent mark of the distribution the median is actually the 50 percent mark of the distribution and the third quarter is the 75 percent mark of the distribution i'm going to be talking more about these numbers when we get to the numerical analysis part to be honest it's quite rare seeing box plots and whiskers in people's dashboard because really you can tell most of your stories uh, that you really need to tell using the simple bar chart pie chart and all like that but if you want to tell a story about uh the spread or the width of your data sets then definitely uh the box plots and whiskers is actually something you should consider one of the key things we need to know is that the box plot is also used for only numerical variables either discrete or continuous please note the box plots cannot work with categorical variables the box plot can actually be plot either vertically or horizontally it actually has nothing to do with the story you are telling with your data sets it just boils down to preference to what you like so uh the next step is for us to move into excel and learn how to use excel to plot a box plot and whiskers with the superstar data sets that we have at hand so without further ado let's get into excel so i'll be starting with this simple data set right here we have uh profit quantity sold uh, we have the numerical variables right here so um like i said earlier on the box plot is basically used to work on numerical variables only we can only construct box plots for profits or quantity sold so i click on profits or i can just select the whole of this uh, i come to insert and uh all charts then i come to the box plot and whiskers and here we have so this is actually the box plot and whiskers for for profits so we can just write this for profits so uh, we can trace this line so this line right here actually okay, let me just zoom in exactly so as you can see uh, it tells us that this is the value of 1200 so that means according to the profit uh, the smallest value is 1200 uh, this value right here actually corresponds to the first quarter uh, this value right here corresponds to the median so the median is $25,000 and this value right here corresponds to the third quarter and that is at $35,000 so this is the box plot and whiskers for profit so uh, we can also do the same thing for 
for quantity sold you know as usual but i won't do that now let's go into the superstore data set and see if we can also construct a box plot for our data set so here's our data set and as you can see we can only construct the box plot and whiskers for just uh four variables that is sales quantity discount and profit so um first thing first we can just select everything right here and uh, we click on insert recommended charts and when i come to all charts i click on box plot and whiskers and i click on ok and uh, it brings something like this for me okay let me edit this as sales now if you notice this box plot is a bit different from the one that we just finished working on uh these values right here these dots they are actually outliers they are the outliers uh so we can't see the box perfectly uh but we can see the lines we can see the first quarter or so so this box plot is typically saying that these values right here these dots are actually outliers and this line right here is the third quarter is between zero and one thousand worth of quantities being sold uh we can also decide let's take this down a bit so we can also decide to actually uh construct a box plot for let's say quantity i think that should be better so um we come to recommended charts the box plots and whiskers and uh, we have this all right so this is actually a better one so let us edit this and just call it quantity so as you can see it states that uh this is the first quarter this is the, so the value right here is one this is the minimum value uh, the minimum value is actually one and this is the first quarter and that is two this is the median the median is three this is the third quarter the third quarter is five and the maximum value is actually uh nine and these values right here are actually the outlier so that means this data set of ours actually have uh five outliers in total and that is going to be 14 13 12 11 and 10 so this is just one of the beauty of uh the box plus and the whiskers you can basically just see your outliers straight from there if you have some questions regarding box plus and whiskers or you feel like i actually missed something please go down to the comment section and actually drop your questions or comments i'll be willing to answer all of them if you want to learn about the types of data sets and the skills of data set that we have on statistics i have a video right here for you that you can just go check out and if you want to check out other data visualization tools such as the histogram bar chart or the pie chart i also have a video right here for you that you can actually check out thanks for making it to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one bye for now